Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm not doing a review today, however, I do have a couple of those coming up, so stay tuned. Uh, those should be popping out in about a week or two. What I want to talk about today is I made a mistake the last couple of videos that I did on the uh, West Creek JX50 guitar. I'm going to play the video right now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Very disappointing. Probably the cheapest route I've ever seen. It's, it's three quarter inch. Uh, I would say medium density foam. So yeah, those foam blocks are very typical of direct mounted pickups, which I did not know um, because I don't have any guitars with direct mounted pickups until those two. Um, they've always been with uh, pickup rings and springs and screws and all that stuff. But this video is to show you uh, that I modified both of those uh, JX50s, just like this right here. For about 12 bucks. Um, reason why I did it is because number one, it's what I'm accustomed to, and number two, I think it uh, gives the pickups a little more fine tunability so you can equalize the volume and the tone in both. Well, not really the tone, but more so the volume. Uh, more so than you can with the foam blocks. So, my sincerest apologies to West Creek for saying that that was the cheap route. Um, again, I didn't know any better, so I apologize for all that misinformation. So this is something you guys can do at home if, with a cheap 3D printer and uh, $12 worth of hardware from Amazon and a, a tap. And I will link all that stuff in the description below if you don't already have it. Anybody that's seen my forging videos knows that I have a ton of tools. I already had all this stuff lying around and I have 3D printers, so the only thing I had to pay was 12 bucks or $14 actually for the, uh, the hardware for the pickups. It's actually quite easy. So I'm gonna cut to the video and I'll do a voiceover during that. Okay, so we start off by removing the strings. The 3D printed uh, pickup covers there, um, I printed on my printer and I used the first two holes as a guide and just drill through basically the lacquer and maybe the top coat of paint and then let the wood screws do the rest. Just mounting the two so I can get the other two holes drilled more accurately this way. Uh, the drill bit I'm using is a two millimeter drill bit you can pretty much get anywhere um, and the it's a Phillips number two bit that I 3D printed a little piece on my driver to, to accommodate. Underneath is the foam blocks that I referenced you can just peel those out, they'll come out no problem. The tabs are made of brass, and you'll see that's a three millimeter tap right there. You can get it at any hardware store, and uh, it just drills right through, no problem. This next part is the most fidgety part of the whole process, um, because I had to cut about six to eight millimeters off of each of the um, machine screws and I did not trim the springs. So the screws are essentially shorter than the springs, so you have to kind of preload them and get them in there, and it just it just takes a minute. It would be much easier if I would have desoldered the pickups and did this like on a workbench or something like that. So if you don't want to do that, I would recommend at least, you know, taping off the, the surrounding area around the cavity so you don't risk scratching the paint. Thankfully, I didn't scratch the paint though, so. Um, but yeah, once you get one in, then the other one's a lot easier to get in because you don't have to you don't have to worry about trying to hold it steady, and it just kind of just makes it a lot easier. Still a little fidgety though, obviously, as you can see. But if you don't trim those machine screws, the uh, pickup cover itself won't sit flush um, because the cavity is not deep enough. So rather than hogging out some material in the cavity, I just decided to trim the screws. It was a little bit easier. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that looks as easy as it was. The springs and in installing that part was a little bit fiddly. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll leave all the links in the description below for Amazon for the everything that you'll need so you can do it yourself if you have any questions or if you want the STL file that I actually remixed. Um, I will go ahead and post that 
onto Maker World, and I will leave a link for that down in the description as well. Take care, y'all. Till the next one.